Floss Tube is carrying stitches. It's Friday the 23rd of November and welcome to video number 32. I hope you're all well and um, had a good stitchy fortnight. Um, I hope my American friends have had a nice Thanksgiving and were able to balance stitchy time with family time and whatnot. It's been a busy fortnight. It's always busy. That's life, isn't it? Um, we've had. I had my birthday. Um, I'll show you my lovely stitchy goodness uh, in a bit. It was quiet, just how I like it. Um, a good birthday to me is not having to cook, and having stitching, and chocolate. That's good. I don't ask for much. Um, parents' evenings. We've had two parents' evenings last week. Um, children both doing well at school and um, some subjects are better than others but such is life um, I'm very pleased with um, what they're doing PTA has been is busy we're getting rid of our Christmas fair and things like that so we had a meeting last week and this morning we collected our things in for the hampers so um, the children have a dress down or a non-uniform day and um, in payment for that they bring something for a hamper um, for a hamper or tombola stalls so chocolate um, a bottle of something or mince pies chocolates pudding Christmas puddings biscuits yeah think nice Christmas hamper foods basically uh, so that's what we do so that we'll be making up hampers next week ready for our Christmas fair in 10 days time it's all very exciting it's um i love christmas and i'm getting really quite excited um i hope he starts a new job soon so i'm going to enjoy a couple of days off with him next week and um, we're going to do a bit of christmas shopping and have lunch and just do some nice and um, spend some time together um whilst the kids are at school uh, so let's have a look down my list so work's been busy uh, other than my usual administration stuff that's generated from um, day to day running of the office and casework. Uh, we're also having new phones and um, new printers and stuff like that. So I've been dealing with an awful lot of that. You know, it's busy. What else? That's about it. That's, that's pretty much the life update. Um, so coffee's cold. Ugh. Um, won't be drinking that today then. Um, we had our first frost this week, um, so weather's definitely heading fast into winter. I can't see it being a winter like we had last year. Um, we shall see. Only the weather knows what the weather wants to do. Um, we've got a couple of F FF no FOs this week. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I finished the butterfly humbug from shiny room I know it's not focusing great so what do I have auto focus off or something I don't know anyway um, I just need to sew that up so that was my travel project hence why it's taken me so long to do such a tiny thing because it's often just 20 stitches or so a day it's not that easy to change colour on the bus um, hubby's new job does mean that I'll be busing to work as well as home from work or to the school um, because he has to be he has a new start time with his new job so um, my new travel project is going to be Noel and I'm hoping that given eight bus journeys a week for what well, we got to Christmas four weeks should be able to get that done it's only six I think it's only six colours, so because um, as I said, colour change is not it, that easy, not that easy on the bus. If I could get, I've done the, I've already done the N, so if I could just get the uh, a letter or like the star or something done each time, I suspect it'll take me a couple of um, trips to do the bauble. There you go, shell bauble, and we're only four minutes in. Um, I've already pre-cut the felt. To make the wreath so hopefully it'll be a pretty quick um 
do once it's once it's uh, put together. There's a bit of back stitching in it, um, including a back stitch bauble and the bows and stuff. So, excuse me, I may well do that at home, but um, French knots will be beads because French knots. Anyway, there's that. There's that. Next FFO was from my giveaway win from Diana. It is Kismet held in my lovely, beautiful Diana bag. Um, I do love the vinyl fronted bags. I think they're. Should I ever purchase myself um, per, uh, project bags, they will be vinyl fronted ones. I, I think that's my favourite style. I think that's what I like about having these bags that I use. That they're not that fancy, but I can still see into them. So anyway, side note there. Uh, this is what I won from Diana along with the project bag it was uh, Lizzie Kate celebrate 15 and I love him he is super cute uh, Diana also graciously gifted me um, a skein of Louisiana hot sauce so um, that was in there too I'm going to just take two th couple of things out of the bag before I start showing you Santa because that will make my life a lot easier okay right so Here's Santa, I, he's completely stitched. Uh, he is on fabric that I was gifted from Stitchy Shannon 5085. It's one of those days, I swear it is. Um, I didn't stitch the snowflake, although the snowflake border showing up quite well there and there should be one at the top. I've chosen not to stitch it because it doesn't actually show up particularly well in person. Um, and I'm go I've got some white lace trim, white cotton lace trim that I'm going to put along the top and cube finish him. I also chose not to stitch the snowflakes and I'm going to use a snowflake charm there and a snowflake charm there. Um, probably not these ones because they're just plastic ones. I'm going to get some nice metal ones. I've seen a few um, and there's also a button for there which needs to be sewn on. These are, um, aren't the called for buttons but, that is, but it's the same style. This one here should be a triangle, so I might use. You can't see. I've got a little heart one. I've got I've got round, square, flower-shaped ones, stars. So basically, I will find two buttons in my stash that I will attach. I love him very much. He's. I can't wait. I think I'm gonna. Much to my family's annoyance, I'm um, I'm rapidly filling up the calendar towards Christmas with things we're going to do with families, including um, trips to IKEA. Kids love, kids love our kids. Um, Tom's asked for new bedroom furniture for Christmas. Um, he wants his room done out, so uh, because when we moved, we didn't do it when we moved a couple of years ago. So that's his birth, that's his Christmas present, along with some other things. Um, so we're going to IKEA to get because he's only in the small bedroom. We need to be quite creative with how we do it. So we're off to IKEA to buy some furniture. Uh, kids love Ikea though, they absolutely love going, so it's not a chore when your children love going somewhere, is it? If you've got, if you've got to do shopping. If I said we're going clothes shopping, well, he has a different opinion on that. Right, oh, picking up two things at once. So I did celebrate my birthday as I've said, Blackwork birthday sale. Thank you to everybody who has joined in. Um, I've seen some beautiful things on Instagram and if i've seen yours and i and you've told me you've done it in the comments and you've seen and i've and i've seen it on instagram and i've not put two and two together i'm sorry um i think i think i am the same with flush tube and instagram but i know some people aren't just because um so i am sorry if i'm being a bit vague if i say oh what are you stitching and oh that's pretty and not put two and two together so because i'm me I'm stitching Lizzie Tears Blackwork, um, Blackwork Angel, although I have chosen to do not to stitch the wings and I'm not going to stitch the border. I'm going to uh, simplify it so it kind of goes with my lady a bit. Kind of, I don't, I kind of want them to be a kind of pair. There's a size difference, but anywho, that's my plan. So this is where I'm at with her. This is. Um, Judgery Designs, I can't think what it's called, Burns Night, it's a limited edition, it's on 20, 32 count Opal Murano, um, she is stitched in two of the called for colours and the rest 
I have changed well and the other two colors I have changed so the gold that should have been well, the gold that should have been gold is now the PTB uh, yeah, uh, PTB and that's number 72 and the got um, DMC Diamant I changed to the um, Etoile although it's not showing up I think it's competing with the opalescent fabric I know it's there and we'll stick with that one thing that I didn't it's actually got an some of the designs got grey in it, like the head's done in grey, and I think that's a, actually that's a really clever thing to do because it kind of just makes it a bit softer. So um, I'm not as far ahead as I think I am. Let's go with that. Peace on Earth. There's a bit of a story. There's always a story. Um, I wasn't going to pick this back up for a couple of weeks. I was going to. Well, let me show you where I am, and I'll tell you the story. So. This is on Judgery Designs Blue Green Guppy, and I've just been working on the house. I think I had a tiny bit of the house done last time I showed you, or probably in my whip parade. So I'm growing a house. Um, my plan is I've kind of put myself into a rotation for December, November and December, with the four things that I want to get done. Um, so Santa was on that list. I've got my Biscorno swap, I want to get Peace on Earth done and I'd like to get Winter Village done. Um, so I was going to pick up Winter Village but opened the bag and there was no floss. So I was rather irritated, didn't stitch for the night. Lottie, kind, I knew that I need, and I'd done a conversion and hadn't written down the numbers. So there's a lesson for you all. Write down the numbers next to where you've changed them, not just on a random scrap of paper, which is probably what I did. Um, anyway, Lottie, I had an idea that I'm a bit of a lazy stitcher in that I'll probably, when I take, if I'm going to change colours, it may well end up being from the same floss box. My, I've got four, bo uh, four bobbing boxes for my DMC, and the fact that I was subbing a three three or a three eight number meant that it was very likely to be in that box. And obviously, I've done quite a lot, so it's going to be half a skating or half a bobbin rather than the full one so that kind of gave me an idea when I pulled when Lottie Blesser pulled all of the dark greens for me and we kind of went through and looked at some of them and by process of elimination I'm not sure whether you just saw my low battery thing or not there um we've got one if it's a slight change it's a slight change I will say it's the light um, anyway, so that was on my list, but so I've basically, that's my plans for December. So you've got plans as well there. Um, this has been stitched in most of the called for. I'm trying to see, I'll just, let me just put, um, let's have a look. Yeah, most of the called for, the only, so I've got black and white and I think the brown of the not acorns pine cones is that i've just realized you might be able to hear washing machine and tumble dryer because this is take 57 or something i realized that i was getting no laundry done and put the machines on so apologies for background noise because life um so that's the stitching, um, that's the plans as well. I also do need to do my ATC because I can't decide on the design and it's annoying me. So mm, I kind of, I keep flitting between about five different ideas. So, cause it, the theme is Stitcher's Choice. Don't give me choice, I'm not good at choice. Um, I will be focusing on my Biscorno swap. Um, it's not due till January, but my partner and I have decided that we'd like to do a Christmas themed one. So we're gonna send early. Um, so I'm super excited to chose my pattern. Um, I need to order, I've got a big lakeside needlecraft order to do, um, which to, so I can kit up for 2019. Um, to, I need to buy fabric and floss for um, this. Although I pulled all my fabric out this morning. Well, not all of it. I didn't pull up like the Ada scraps and stuff like that, but I pulled out all my sort of bigger pieces. And I'm wondering whether I might have something I can use. So 
maybe we'll see um I've got the pattern I know what floss I want it so I need to match the floss to the pattern I need to match the floss to the fabric rather than the fabric to the yeah rather than do a floss you know what I mean so so there's that so that that's all going to be done um I mentioned in my last video that Lottie had done a workshop at the um craft show and I couldn't show it you but the coaster appeared on the dining table so that's what she made she did uh, it's a marble it's like a marbling thing you've all seen the youtube videos where they marble it up and then they stick a silk, silk scarf in the water and you know ta-da well same idea but just with um, a coaster so i was it's done it because i varnished it for her so she can use it um so yeah did it I'll, I'll show you where i'm at with my winter so i think i will end up kind of rotating between two between the three things i mean the biscornu will get priority but i think i'll end up rotating between biscornu um oh come on kerry peace on earth and winter village because just to keep keep busy on variety on it so this is where i'm at i've got that forms the top of the last row of how um snowflakey green things tree whatever they are I, don't know what they, I think it's like a tree but oh needle hang on stray needle just rolling around the doodah i'm just trying to find, find the pattern yeah, it's like a tree isn't it so anyway so i am um, i'm just doing that one now then i have that one that one and the ones at the half ones at the bottom and then the houses to put in so actually it's quite a lot to do still but i feel like i'm more than halfway now so i'd like to get this done for christmas whether it gets ffo'd is another matter but i'd like to get that done for christmas and i'd like to get peace on earth done for christmas so i couldn't find the green as i said but i think it's that one because the bobbin's thin enough for it to be Oh, I didn't even have like there was no thread hanging off the back I've just thrown one on the floor as well that's the red I must pick that up at least I wrote the red down was the right one and if it isn't it's what I'm going with now right rabbit holes what we're going to go with next oh birthday hole birthday 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 hole in my lovely little paper bag right then oh let's just move some of the cross stitch out of the way I got blessed with lots of wonderful birthday gifts. My friend Steph made me this little cute autumn card and sent me a little box of crochet. Um, it's a seaside themed one. I think it's one of these subscription box type things, but you can do the one-offs. I love it when so much care is taken to do them. So I'll quickly go through. I know it's crochet, probably not interested, but you know, my channel, my rolls. So there's the pattern, it's for the shawl. Um, I can crochet a granny square. Can I do this is another matter, but there are stitch diagrams, loads of color pictures. And I'm just hoping that actually, and there's all the, so obviously this, it's got all the abbreviations there as well and i know what most of them are except for what a triple treble is i'm not sure about that hey hey anyway i will i've got a nice uh, a how to a good how to crochet book as well so i think i can find it yes i have i've got it's a really nice basic one as well um came with it ugh. super cute postcard a little charm in there for it cute iron on patch crochet hook that's a four mil um, a little stitch marker for um, crew clay studio and the yarn which is in jade pebble which is a really pretty color no jade gravel so thank you Steph I can do this I can do this. so I just love the box it's in. I just think that is such a wonderful gift. Oh, hang on. 
things at the bottom of the box. Um, I had two, I had a lovely card from Lynn and she also sent me a gift too. So thank you very much Lynn for that. Um, I'll show you when I get it. Um, I got Lottie Blesser when we were at the craft show bought me some buttons. I love this little jellyfish, she's so cute. And a little cupcake. But I love the fact that she bought these with her own money two weeks before my birthday and kept them and then wrapped them up with a chocolate orange because she's an awesome child and she knows me well. So that was really sweet of her. I had Dawn Frosty X Stitch sent me a present which took me 24 hours to work out who it was from because she purchased it and then it was sent to me as an email and I didn't know so because they didn't put the thing on but it's super cool and I can't wait to show you that when it's all sorted and Dawn it was perfect thank you very much and thank you to Lynn for your gift too she, um, I'm, I, I was blown away by stitchy gifts from people so um, I also had a lakeside needle craft voucher from my friend Sarah um, Sarah's not a crafter in any way shape or form but knows that it like running it running and football are her passions mine is crafting and she's got it buying paper chase vouchers i don't i was probably chart and she's bought me cross stitch books when i've gone this is what i want um but i was chanting my arm asking for a lakeside needle craft voucher but a lakeside needle craft voucher i got thank you sarah i'm yet to spend that that'll go that's part of my big order i also have birthday money um as well so I'm super 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 excited to be spending a lot of money at Lakeside on Monday so because I, because part of the reason I haven't done it yet is because I need to sort out what DMC I want and it's kind you know when you kind of just go it's a it's a big job and I need to sort it and I haven't hubby brought me microphone for floss tubing he brought me this light which I won't switch on but this all lights around here it's got three or four different settings um, it's great for my photographs for an evening because um, I tend to take most of my. No, right, I'm off to bed now. Let me just take a photograph where I'm up. Teaching and post that to Instagram. Um, and he also bought me chocolate and two patterns. So he got me Jardin Privé's undulations. I had no idea they did black work until I was searching on Patrick Rabbit and I noticed a black work section and that was in it. I've since learned that Tash. It's gone, Tash. Star Cross Stitch had, um, stitched it and I've looked at her video and she did a beautiful job and I like the fact that she said that she changed some of the colours because they just weren't very, they were quite muted um, so and not as bright as they look in the picture and I think I like the fact that they're quite bright so I will be changing some colours and that will be go, that will be my next big black work project so when I finish my lady because I think I am always going to have a bit of black work projects on board and I like pictures of things rather than blocks so I can't ever see me doing save the stitches I do like one of the ones she's, Liz Alma's got on her website called I don't know what it's called actually but it's the Noel one I see, see I would do that as blocks because it would be a good Christmas one but I'm not sure I just want to do like save the stitches or Pandora's box or something like that because I'm not sure what I would do with it but I love pictures that's why they do the ladies I've done an Art Nouveau window which we lost in our move because it when we were um, when we when we were packing pictures it got knocked off the wall don't ask me how well there are two so there are two stories um we won't go there and the frame broke so I carefully put it in a um with the mount in a bag because it was a oh what do you call it like a regular frame size frame so I could just go and buy a new frame I could even buy the same frame um, and I can't find it I haven't found it since we moved house and it got put in the pictures box but the pictures box got unpacked and I think that got put somewhere separately to be framed I don't know where it is it's beautiful too I really like it I'm not sure we are going to manage to do this floss tube without my battery dying anyway so next pre my other present from hubby was heartstring samplers festive little fobs I'm loving these she's brought out 10 12 of them and there's about five that i really like i'd like the christmas ones i like the nautical ones i'm not sure about seasonal ones but 
like the f summer uh, the seasidey themed ones, the beach themed, and I'd like the Christmas ones and the sewing themed ones. Right, my battery has just told me ten percent. I am concerned that it will die. So let's do a quick mag flip throughs. Cross stitch of world, world of cross stitch, and that came with what? Oh, in the world of cross stitch i really quite like that little sample by Jereen jones i think the fact it has my initials may have and it kind of made me more keen um so we've got a lucy heaton mouse celebrating new year tatty teddy reach for the stars um oh it's a lot of great letters pages i'm not i'm just gonna kind of just do this staffordshire pottery dogs um all the usual things new year fireworks cards these are quite cool we always watch the fireworks um on the, te the uh, television for the uh, for the london ones so maybe a stitch one and would put it with my pretty little series uh, little Bichon Frise dog. Flowers in jugs, very um, early spring ones. So it's quite nice to see something that's not just daffodils. Um, lots of adverts in this one. New New Year, New You. So it's lots of kind of New Year's resolution kind ideas. You know, eat more veg, go to the gym, quit smoking, sew more and create more i can get behind those two sleep yeah i can get behind that one too fairies that's really pretty lots of sparkly sort of sequins and um yeah quite a complex one nice little they're calling that a garland but i always think the garlands is long and thin that's a wreath surely if it's circular although it's doesn't kind of might, maybe looks like it's two ends but it's pretty and it's quite it's a quite a simple stitch i've got home sweet home which is like a mixed media one using machine like a plique and stuff but there is also a full cross stitch version and it's one of these where you kind of create your own people with different faces and hairstyles and stuff so that's cool all the templates we've got a penguin a penguin party alphabet because everybody needs penguins to party. Uh, Doreen Jones cushion kind of reminds me of the style of her lakeside fantasy style. She's definitely one designer that's got a very good use of colour. Next month, Wox are giving you stitchy post-it notes. I'm all over with stitchy post-it notes. Um, that was the Lakeside Needlecraft. No, oh, good grief, Kerry. Um, cross Stitch Crazy. Uh, that's issue World of Cross Stitch 276. Cross Stitch Crazy 250. They're celebrating. Okay, so we've got the cover chart. We've got Celebrating Rabbits. Drunk, a, drunk at a Party Rabbit. lots of little um, Leonard Cohen is the star stitch the songwriter Got 50 celebration ideas these are going to be super quick flip throughs because I'm kind of I missed a page up I feel like I don't know. little cottage postcards Susan Bates designed those Doreen Jones she's a busy lady has designed um, some thank you cards and we also have chart, chart only um, like post mail kind of ideas mailboxes post boxes stamps that kind of thing sleep time ideas Emma Congdon sleep mask um, oh what are they what they call mug cozy and a hot water bottle cover Oh, it's very dry pirates on a polar bear that's bell and boo it's really cute art 
that's my um, alphabet. It's quite nice to have a plain one, which is you know, easy to change colours and things, so that's really nice. Those things, what do they call them? Dream catchers. Clever idea to use them hoops and then just add the feathers. Um, Chinese lanterns. I like the colours of those. And uh, next month is that lot. So nice kind of nature themed Valentines. So that's cute. So that's crazy. That's an issue 250. Um, my only other thing other than my only purchase this month was from Bendy Stitches D Stash. I'm not sure if this is a um, one for the Apraxia Kids one, but I liked it. Oh, excuse me. Um, Night Garden by Prairie Schooler. This is charts. 1987. That's 10. Right, let's give some stuff away. Righty ho. Let me just turn my Ujimadoodar over. So we have got, so I wrote all the names down because I can, because there's not that many of you. Um, my laptop's at work at the moment, so I makes life. A little bit trickier doing comments and things like that so i apologize for the delay in getting back to people this month but you know I've done it now that's stuck, stuck on my earring if i get sometimes with my earrings up there if i get hair stuck on I get a piece that stick, sticks out like that um rita marie the black works coming to you i got your address emma nuttus i'm sorry emma if i've just butchered your surname floral friends are yours um, I have replied to your comments, so if you can send me um, an email, my email is in the comments as well, that'd be great. And Melanie Smith, I commented on your comments and I've got an email from you already. You're very quick off the mark. So that's coming to you. Um, I do like it when people who haven't won before win. Okay, um, I've got four for this month because I kind of, I didn't realise I picked up four. So. For Cheryl, the word bauble. So I'd like to stitch the baubles. There's actually six, but the other designs are intermingled with the charts. So um, that gives you a pretty good idea though. They're really pretty. I've stitched this one already. Um, again, these are charts pulled out. I don't tend to pull my magazines apart, but if I'm gifted magazines um, and I already have a copy of it, I will pull it apart. So that's why these work. I was gifted these charts. so. Um, a long time ago and I already have them so I've stitched that one so baubles there is a, um, some borders here borders uh, this is all charts so basically it's cute Christmassy stuff there's animals bears penguins robins a traditional Xmas and I like a lot of the designs on here some really pretty snowflakes and things like that poinsettias puds and things like that Holly and then Jolly Santas so Christmas and then there is I'm so I only have the one lot of patterns which is for these two designs here I don't have these ones um, I said these were gifted to me so it, it is because it's the chart it's those ones there so um what have we got squares mm. i'd like to stitch the squares christmas borders and baubles there we go. squares borders baubles squares borders baubles christmas there we go so that's pretty much it um I, it's a bit shorter now I'm quite pleased with that because my phone's about to die and um, I hope the sounds been okay trying out my new microphone um, and I apologize for the tumble dryer in the background if you can hear that um, have a fantastic stitchy fortnight um, and I'll be back in the beginning of December fully Christmas because uh, I'm super excited I love Christmas oh, I really am one of these people oh, Christmas I know yeah I know some of you are too so um and if you prefer other holidays then i feel about christmas how you probably feel about those uh yeah 
super excited super christmas yay can't come soon enough well it can come but i love the preparations and all that kind of thing so getting cracking on those it's exciting have a great stitchy fortnight thanks for watching subscribing and liking and doing all those kind of things um i'll try not to be so sloppy getting back to comments so, uh, so soon happy stitching friends bye bye thanks for watching my channel thank you for all the lovely comments you leave me for the likes and the subscriptions they really it really does mean a lot and it makes it all worthwhile happy stitching